everywhere on the geode, mm -hmm. you weigh exactly the same. What? If the Earth bulges from spinning, if you bulge at the equator, the poles come in a, a little come bit. Come down, right? Okay. So now it sounds like I'm closer to the center of the Earth. I should weigh more. However, not the entire Earth is pulling on you. It turns out that while you are closer to the center of the Earth, there's less mass pulling on you. Only, you can do this, you can show this with calculus and Newton's laws of gravity, mm -hmm. that if you are smaller from pole to pole, the only part of Earth attracting you is the sphere that is the cutaway between your feet and the center of the Earth. And that sphere does not include the bulging that comes outside of that sphere. Okay. Those factors combined exactly equal the factors that affect your weight here on the equator because the entire mass of the Earth is it's pulling, pulling on, on you. you because you're at the center. Okay, because you're at the you're, you're at a wide, widest, uh, widest the widest point. point. Right. Now, what is the what is the sphere beneath your feet? It's got everything. It's all of it. All of it. It's all of it. So these two things, these two you know principles, if you want to call them. They cancel out. Yes, yes, they exactly cancel. The fact that you have the whole Earth pulling on you, mm -hmm. yet we're spinning, <laughs> Right. okay? So you have all the mass of the Earth, but the spinning, so that makes you weigh more, but then you're spinning, that makes you weigh a little less, plus the Earth is a little wider, so that makes you weigh a little less, less. okay? All of that. You put it together. You put it together, it comes out in the wash compared to your weight, weight on the on pole. pole. Wow. So Santa's fat behind can walk down to the equator and weigh exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same thing. Wow.